What is up Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new Gotham video and today we've got a few things to talk about because as you know Gotham is filming at the minute and that means we've got well lots and lots of teases for example it looks like the mutants are coming to no man's land uh well at least a version of them uh we've got some more ivy teases if you remember a couple of videos back i talked about that and i'll leave the card up there as well as my previous video so check those ones out as well and then come back to this one just to make sure you're up to date and just a few other tidbits here and there that i definitely think some of you guys will want to hear about and if you have heard it already then maybe you just want to know my opinion about it uh, but other than that guys if you want to stay up to date with more gotham videos like this why not subscribe uh, because that way you'll never miss out on one especially if you hit that bell notification button because youtube seems to never want to freaking notify any of you i don't know why and i'd really appreciate if you uh would hit that like button just down below because it really really does show your support for the channel and it really really does help get this video out there a little bit more so the first thing that i want to talk about is that it seems that uh, bruce and selena will be going up against the mutant gang or at least uh, a, a few members of the mutant gang including what looks to be the mutant leader now who are the mutants you may be wondering well you can definitely find all about them in one of my favorite animations or comic books which is um the dark knight returns it is it's amazing both the comic book and the animation uh, Batman actually goes up against who seems to be the mutant leader if, with what we're seeing in these photos because what you're seeing right now on the screen and I'll leave the respected links in the description down below but I think initially everybody thought for example in this video that this guy would be Bane um, but it doesn't seem to be the case I mean he, he definitely would be like the, the right kind of uh, you know build for that definitely 100% this guy is absolutely jacked um, but the thing is uh, it, we still don't know what they're doing with Bane if, if if Eduardo is going to be the father of Bane or if Eduardo is actually a name they're giving to Bane uh in in the show who knows who knows what's going on there and I would update you more with that as we know more uh but it definitely looks like from other photos because as you see uh he's sitting down uh Big Sid as we know him is sitting down next to David Mizeus uh they're obviously filming a scene and I'll get more into that in a second and he's just trying on this little bit of headgear uh which is very reminiscent to what the mutants wear uh, in uh, the Dark Knight Returns. And I actually really dig this. He looks just like the, the mutant leader. I don't think, if I remember correctly, he doesn't have a first name in the comic. Um, but here you can see, like, the little eye pieces they have. And, you know, as I said, everyone initially thought it was Bane. Um, and these were, like, little injection things for Venom or something. But no, that I don't think they would do it from the head up. But I'm very confident that this isn't their wet method of injecting freaking Venom into this guy's head. So this de definitely is, uh, you know, a version or Gotham's adaptation of the mutant gang and as you see uh there's a couple of henchmen or goons behind uh the mutant leader here um and he they have like the little freaking uh masks kind of like if you if you watch the flash you've seen citizen colds um comic book um like kind of goggles and it, they just have really thin slits on it and in real life it kind of makes no sense but you know it looks kind of cool in cosplay or like comic books or characters or which weird stuff like that i don't think you can really mistake it for anything else this is the mutant gang in gotham and as far as you know if they're going to actually reflect like the mutants in the dark knight returns i don't really think so those guys have freaking like razor sharp teeth and if they were actually to do that that would be pretty insane i think it's more of a thing where as we've had it explained to us before um amongst scarecrow mr freeze firefly you name it taking control of different parts of the city there's gonna be like underling gangs i think as well of just normal not normal people obviously but people who aren't as recognized or as recognize as we know them like the scarecrow and stuff like that uh who will also try and take over and cause trouble uh for example the mutant gang it'd be very very cool for them to drop that name as well i don't think they have any problems with that so i don't see why they wouldn't but a user on reddit said that i live on that street and they've been there since 8 a.m they're still going at it he's filming a scene with fighting catwoman uh so it looks like selena is going to be you know obviously fighting this guy i don't know if bruce how much bruce is going to get involved because we do see a photo with bruce actually with selena there and it looks like they're actually being confronted by the mutant gang so who knows what happens there and as far as bruce if any of you are wondering what you know he's wearing it looks like he's just wearing um a, a motorcycle um leggings if you will um and i don't know if he's wearing a motorcycle jacket which he kind of has worn different versions of in season four um but he's also wearing a turtleneck as well and i think that's underneath uh the motorcycle jacket uh so i don't know there's nothing mega you know proto batman-y there really uh, because you know there's different stuff and different angles from what we're seeing and it just does look like he's wearing kind of leather or armored motorcycle legging 
stuff. But other than that, guys, I think I've spoke too long on this as it is. There's not really too much to say. If you want to check out anything or any background on, uh, you know, the mutant gang or the mutant leader, who seems to be, you know, the particularly main focus here, uh, check out the Dark Knight Returns animation or, the, you know, check out the comic. It's really, really cool. Yeah, he basically almost kills Batman. Um, so th the fact that they're kind of implementing it in here is, is pretty awesome. Um, I'm definitely down for this. It's going to be definitely way before because Bruce, obviously, in The Dark Knight Returns is much, much, much older. But, you know, this is kind of like one of the perfect examples of how Gotham does things quite differently. Now, the next update here, uh, there's not too much to talk about. And it's to do with Ivy. Uh, it, it seems like we're getting little tiny chunks of Ivy information. Uh, but it seems that Blackgate may be covered in Ivy. Right here, we see uh, a couple of people standing uh, in a location. Uh, I'm assuming it's Blackgate because it seems that she's wearing like a Blackgate jumpsuit. And honestly, I don't really know what too much to say about this. I'm really excited for you know an ivy controlled sector of gotham or something like that or maybe if blackgate is you know like an arkham asylum in the video game you know ivy is just taking over everything completely that that'd be so cool to see in gotham um however i you know didn't you know peyton lists ivy just disappeared last season I, i'm not i know obviously she only had a three episode arc and that actress only um you know was there for that and her and selena just kind of sort of made up and she just kind of disappeared in the wind i don't know what they're specifically going to do i don't know if they're just going to say that she got arrested in the meantime that would be kind of weird because i would have wanted that I, I think that would have been important to show on screen so if she's in blackgate and now she's kind of broken out because of the no man's land situation or something like that where she wants to control blackgate i don't really know what do you guys think do you think that, that there's gonna be some kind of explanation behind that or do you think she's just gone to blackgate uh to to bust it open and just kind of take complete control i really really don't know too much but this kind of adds in addition uh to the other picture we covered the other day i think i'm showing on screen right now uh hopefully i will um and that's a guy up against the wall um and that might be one of the prisoners maybe one of the prison guards who knows but it all you know is related so i'm definitely looking forward to ivy um i really hope peyton Liss is coming back for her as well because i actually don't know anything on that as of yet but if i am missing out on anything guys be sure to let me know in the comments down below now the next thing i want to discuss is and yet again another quick one it's apparently um Echo's stunt double uploaded this to Instagram and I believe that she is wearing a top saying No Man's Land or Gotham Season 5 um, and I think the big deal is the fact that there's a little Harley Quinn in the corner there. Now I think people are thinking that this is actually printed onto the shirt or even if they're not, I think everybody's losing their minds or something like that because I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really you know hyped too much about this i mean i'm hyped for echo and everything like that but this isn't a big deal to me um obviously you know if you're playing the role of echo or you're playing even the stunt double of echo or something like that obviously you know this person is meant to be the current version or you know the proto the prototype harley in gotham the earliest form the earliest version it's definitely an homage or homage i can never pronounce that word properly to harley quinn so when that actor would post about it or something like that even if it's a little subtleties like this um um, putting Harley on it, you know, is a no-brainer because obviously Echo, look at the way she dressed, the jest, the hat, the, the shapes and everything like that. It's just, you know, you know, it, it's not really anything too much here, but I've seen a lot of people talk about it, so I wanted to address it. I mean, it's cool. If you're really hyped about it, maybe it revamped your Echo hype. Um, supposedly, you know, Jeremiah's getting the love interest in season five, and that is going to be none other than Echo uh quite evidently looking forward to see what gotham might do in terms of echo if they're going to take more steps into going down their own individual story with jeremiah in terms of you know mirroring the harley and the joker relationship because as we all unfortunately kind of know they can't use the joker name that the green hair or anything like that um so what they're doing is the inspiration story the ideology so i don't know if what they're going to do in the last season how much leeway they're going to get if they've got any extra yeses and nos considering its ending i definitely wouldn't expect anything less than them trying to move forward with echo more towards harley because she's yeah I, I don't need to say anymore and this is just a tease of that so if you're really excited by this fair play uh but i just want to see a little bit more before i lose my freaking mind other than that though everybody that is kind of everything there is to talk about today it's kind of been little nuggets of information as i said um and obviously i kind of spew on my opinion about it uh, but were you excited by anything you saw in today's video uh if you are let me know down in the comments below and is there anything else that you would have liked to have seen me cover that i may have missed out on i know there's like uh oswald's getting a dog and stuff like that uh, i didn't know if i should have fit that in or not i know some people are massive penguin fans but 
I guess I'm saying it now, you know, he's getting a dog, I guess. I guess if you like this video, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you did actually leave a like on it. And that maybe you share it with your other Gothamite friends. Other than that, guys, links, as always, are in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. And other than that, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.